Hello everyone and welcome to my video. Today I want to show you three books from Queen. Let's start with um, the smallest one, Absolute Greatest. This is um, a, a, a CD that came, I believe, in 2009. It has lots of stuff here. The CD is there. I believe there was something extra. It's got a special edition. Uh, Brain Man, Roger T, remixes about the songs, yeah. As we can see, there's a lot of pictures of the singles here. I believe it's very important to have this. You can find it anywhere still. All 20 tracks there in one CD. And you have lyrics there. It's a very good um, book to have, lots of pictures and lyrics. I believe the CD didn't have all this. And this kind of stuff I like. This is like a handwritten uh, lyrics uh, by uh, Roger Taylor. Uh, a single from another, um, another one by the Dust. I want it all. I don't like this album at all. My personal opinion. I love this crest. Crazy little thing called love. Kind of magic. My favorite. Favorite album of Queen. This is, uh, I believe this is from Great Hits. Some of these pictures actually I have at least never seen before. There's some more handwritten um, Roger Taylor's too. Lyrics. You can just put a CD on and look and read and enjoy. I just love, love this track. These are the days of our lives. Okay. There is a story behind this. I always thought that, wow, Freddie wrote just lyrics, lyric for himself. You know, those those were the days, you know, when it was great. And now, and then later I find out that this was written by Roger Taylor. I, in some kind of way from that album Miracle, uh, in my opinion, when they started to put all of them on writing credits, it 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 lost personality on the song, because before uh, uh, Brian May's song, there was Brian May song, and Roger Taylor was Roger Taylor, and and for example, um, who could write a Bohemian Rhapsody except Freddie? And and um, who wants to live forever? For example, my favorite track uh, that's Brian May, and and this these are days he Roger Taylor wrote it actually for his sons, because at this time they were big, and uh, he missed he missed those days when they were kids, so he could play with them and. So this, this track is Roger Taylor track, but you know, they just put written by Queen eh, for many reasons, obviously. But I, I miss that um, personality in the songs. So this, this was a Roger Taylor track. He wants to live forever. And as I said, my favorite track. Since so it's a right classic. That's the last album. There was some leftovers there. Somebody to love. You see this guy, because this is the first single that I had in my house. I didn't bought that with my brothers. And somebody to love. We listen all day. The single was like that. Some more handwritten by John Deacon. I want to break free. Handwritten lyrics there. That's from video shoot there. Uh, Brian May lyrics there. Uh, 
I can't see which track is this. Anyway, uh, hard rate and lyrics by show must go on. Yeah, uh, work in progress, obviously. So now you can see that this track was Brian May track, show must go on, but they, they just put all names there, but that was his song. His input for that. Okay, there's some acid tape here and Bohemian Rhapsody. So this was uh, the first one. Then I have four years of Queen. This is like a uh, more bigger and oh sorry and lots of memorabilia here. It is much to see. Some posters. <laughs> 120. <laughs> Those were the days. And I went to that. And the rainbow. That was a CD here. I believe this was interviews. Uh, forward by Brain Man Roger Taylor some old pictures lots of stuff here memorabilia Electra It's almost like uh, to book the band on Electra Promotion of the band record company I believe this was this shot was a poster in um, Made in Heaven. Uh, some great interviews here too. Some more stuff here. Where? Yeah, I guess there are some. Like a map. Some European days that I did. Okay, this was kind of a little bit harder. Lots of great live shots here. I don't know about you, but I, I love this. This so is when they uh, wrote a contract there. She had a attack. Signature guitar of Brian May. He made it with his father. Of course, you know that. But for those who don't, uh, what do we got here? A uh, listen hand written. And Notes, Freddy, Brian, Roger Taylor, and John Deacon. Hello, dear. Thanks for going on your number one this year. Wow. This is thinking fans and people who work. I just like look the the um, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm in love with my car. This is how the CD look. This is a paper, you know, just replica. Yes. 
some more posters in the booklet. Kenton Park. Swords 8 Foundation. Official race card. Ah, uh, yeah. Umpire. Horse racing stuff. And races. So the wheel. Here's of the world. There's two gatefolds there. Oh, they, they spent a lot of money on um, promotion in those days. See those statues there in London. Great live shot of this band. Oh, look at this. It's so beautiful. They use this for a CD, remaster CD on Wembley. Uh, bicycle. Bicycle race. Lots of good stuff to see there. Here's a shot from um, from Inner, I think, in jazz record here. Those uh, lavish parties they had. Queen European Tour. There's some. Oops. It's a ticket. There's a. Um, but access all areas. On stage. I have seen tons of documentaries about this band and uh, what they talk about this time there was really parties non-stop. Uh, the ticket there for Ash Gordon. The movie. Obviously, this is not from Flash Gordon. I don't know why they put it there. This is from the um, Highlander. That's the album. What else is that? Um, the Brazilian tour. Ah, here they started to be like 500,000 for the first time. Those were the days, the eighties. I believe that Greatest Hits, the first one, was uh, one of the best albums, one of the most sold albums in Britain. Hot Space, what a disaster that was! It was just the two good tracks, but the rest is just awful. There's some uh, thing you're supposed to make it, but I just keep it here. Works was sort of comeback album, not my favorite. It's a hard life, handwritten lyrics. It is so nice. You can, you can see. You can see here, for example, what was Freddie working on. Radio Gaga here. Yeah. Obviously, Richard Taylor did that. It's, it's priceless. This is it's just this to have is, in my opinion, it's wonderful. If you are a fan of the band, that's picture. There for album cover and the videos. Live Aid. We all remember this. Kind of Magic, my favorite album. Who wants to live forever? Absolutely the best track, in my opinion. Wonderful. Uh, 
some uh, tickets here. Yeah. Maybe we'll be a little there. Oh. Not my favorite album. I was so disappointed for this miracle because because uh, Kind of Magic was the absolute number one in my spot. Innuendo was quite good, but it was kind of it was too long in my opinion. Some tracks was uh, like Delilah was uh, even Roger Taylor said Delilah was awful track. That's a concert for Freddie. Made in heaven. Legacy continues. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I think after Freddy this, you just say thank you and good night. But um, it's still going on, in my personal opinion. I really, uh, there's a uh, stick as you can put it if you want anywhere. Oh, there's something else here too. Poster. London. Crazy tour of London. Rainbow. It's a nice poster to that. If you're a fan of the band, those things are important to see. I believe you can still find it somewhere. This it's a very good, very good um, book, and it comes with a very hard um, cover. Come a few years ago, actually, not so expensive. I believe you still you can find it somewhere. Four Years of Queen, forward by Brian May and Roger Taylor. And then come this. Uh, this book is actually a studio collection. It's in that huge box set, colored vinyl that came. And I didn't want it to buy that because I, I'm very happy with what I have. Um, but I found it on eBay, a guy was selling only the book and it was like, um, I bought it. So there is some uh, stuff here. I think it's a story on each album here too. And lots of pictures. That's the first record there and you can see the color of the vinyl. That one, this one you cannot find anywhere uh, separately, but just this guy, I was lucky enough to see. Uh, there's Master Tapes there, second album. So nice, uh, yeah, this poster that I have it over there. Shit Heart Attack. Explanation. Killer Queen came from this um, album, a single. A night at the opera, was that they had a song of death on two legs. Look at that, death on two legs. Like a figure they made that. They made it the former manager. I'm afraid he wrote that song because he was really mean, money-wise. He was taking all the money while the guys was getting just five pounds a week or something. So first three albums, they didn't earn almost anything. Bohemian Rhapsody single right there. Add. The Ad Races. Uh, 
Queen first EP. It's a lot of uh, things here, handwritten lyrics there. This is the single I told you earlier. This one there, Somebody to Love. Uh, that was the singer that my brother, my big brother, brought it home. I think borrowed it or whatever. So I was listening all day. The side one was Somebody to Love, obviously. And then the side two was uh, White Men. And this is why the Queen was unique. You had like a beautiful operatic uh, and uh, choir song, Somebody to Love. And inside too was a white man, pure, heavy rock. The Queen was like that, unique band. News of the World, green, poster. Uh, lots of promotion there, singles, jazz. So if you buy in a box, obviously it's gonna have this uh, color vinyl. That's uh, a color picture of the inner. So they don't have pictures of the Queen Live Killers. No, it's not in a box. No. Uh, it's single there, Chris Luthen Go Love. Actually, this is um, my second favorite. This is number two. Number one is for me, uh, A Kind of Magic, and The Game is my uh, second favorite album. The singles poster of the an ad for album and poster of the movie. Alexander's this one is yellow. I love that soundtrack actually. I was fifteen when I bought it and I I just loved it. I had an album before I saw a movie, so it was very fantastic. And there you have Hot Space. Oof, that one was so bad. Nearly break the band, actually. So. Works. Lots of uh, single pictures. And there he comes my favorite album. A kind of magic. Highlander, it's a fantastic movie. Just this. Don't watch two, three, four, or how many they make. Just watch one. Highlander. It's got my favorite track, Who Wants to Live Together? To Forever. There it is, the single. Beautiful, beautiful ballad. Very unusual they opened side two with that song. Who wants to live forever? And then come this album, there was a huge disappointment for me. I believe it took like three years, three years from um, a kind of magic. I had a huge tour, obviously, and um, and I made a live album, Magic Live, Live Magic. Sorry, but this was a disappointment for me. I really don't like this album. It was not not my cup of tea at all. This was good album, but it was too many songs. Obviously, they, they put it here uh, in in a vinyl that I have. They had to edit it and cut it and chop it. Then, uh, for, for example, two tracks, Delilah. They could they could have dropped that from vinyl. Uh, I can't live with you. Those two tracks, they could have uh, taken them up and they would have fit perfectly in. Instead of chopping all this bijou, what a wonderful track. It was just like in 40 seconds they left it. Great album. Obviously, Freddie was sick then, so it was a very sad time. 
Made in Heaven. They've done the same thing here, double album. It's one album. It should have been. It's a beautiful shot for the statue there. And some information there. So this was the, the book that you cannot find it on the stores. This is the part of the box set with all all albums there all right guys so just tell me what you think and um, i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, share and like until next time thank you